One of the most important and helpful things to have on hand for an installation is a demo kit. Your kit includes a Fusion 5X 2.0 signal booster, a signal meter and an AC power supply, an outdoor Yagi antenna, an indoor panel antenna, a 75 foot length of SC400 cable, a 100 foot length of SC400 cable, and a Sentry remote monitoring device. There are also several other tools that you're going to need as an installer. Not everything is included in the box. As a successful installer, you should have a signal meter. If you've got a demo kit, you'll already have one of these. Crimping and stripping tools for each type of cable. A cordless drill with a bit at least long enough to reach halfway through the wall. Quality masking or painter's tape. And some indoor or outdoor plates for covering your entry and exit points. We've also found that having additional products on hand ensures a successful installation on the first trip. Here's a list of items we recommend keeping on hand in the event that additional product is needed. A two-way splitter, a 75-foot length of SC400 cable, and a 50-ohm panel antenna. We don't see many power supplies fail, but it's never convenient and it's always an emergency if a booster stops working. On commercial jobs, we recommend having an extra kit on hand in the event that you need to expand coverage more than an antenna or two. Since you'll be running the cable through walls from the outside to the inside, here's a few tips for that. Cover your connectors with tape before inserting them into the wall. This will protect the connector and center connector. Before you install anything, make sure you dry fit every component where it will be installed. This will help you avoid any unnecessary drilling or guesswork for the final installation. On that note, make sure you choose and mark your outdoor antenna location before you run any cable. And always ensure there are no gas, electrical, or water lines in your way before you choose an installation site. Also, if the home has a vented attic, you can run the cable through the vent or next to a vent pipe and into the attic. Just make sure that you seal up any holes so that no pests can get in. There are two options for mounting the outside antenna. You can mount it directly to a pole using the included brackets, or you can use a J-bar mount. Mount the outside antenna on the side of the building that allows the antenna to point away from the building structure. To find the direction of the nearest cell tower, using a signal meter, connect the signal meter directly to your antenna, then sweep your antenna in a 360 degree pattern, noting the signal on the meter until you find the area of strongest signal. That's where your tower is. Or you can use the open signal app on your phone to find the location of the nearest tower. Make sure you're taking advantage of SureCall's training portal, sales material, design portal, and catalog assets. And as always, if you need support, feel free to contact our technical support team and they'll be happy to help you out.